Hi, welcome to Category 5 video tutorial. It's a remake of a very old one, but now in HD and with audio commentary. It's one of my basic exercises, which I do in all my trainings, but it was missing in a good quality in my channel. So here it is, and let's have some fun with Category 5. Okay, let's start with a sketch on the YZ plane. Hide as usual those yellow projected elements. And this should be a profile, and this could no look something like that. I don't want those constraints. Let's add some dimensions. This should be 60. That distance would be 20. And that distance here would be 30. Now, if you want to do a revolve, you should define the axis for that revolution in the sketch. So let's select this line. Sorry, select this line and make it a center line and axis and confirm. And now we can use diameter dimensions, go for diameter, this would be 60. And that would be 50. Now let's constrain this to the axis system. So this one and that one should be coincident and then this one and that one should be coincident as well. Leave that sketch and go for a shaft. 360 degrees and confirm. Next sketch again on the Y Z plane. So go for another sketch on that plane here. Hide those yellow projected elements. You could cut to the sketch plane if you want. It's not necessary, but you can. So that profile should look something like this okay again i don't want those constraints those parallel constraints to to the already hidden yellow projected elements no delete and change this one to an axis And this should be a diameter of 30. And this should be a diameter of 40. That distance should be 15. And this one should be 60. Now again, constrain this to the axis system, maybe like that. And coincident again. And okay. 
Now go for a groove, select that sketch, 360 degrees and confirm. Next sketch, again on the YZ plane, hide these and that would be a rectangle. Again, I don't want those constraints. This line should be an axis. You can have only one axis in a sketch. So this would be a diameter of 60. And that distance should be 15. And the distance from this line to that axis here should be 60. And this axis and that axis here, this one, should be coincident. Leave that sketch and make another groove. And it should be 45 and 45. Now I can reuse that sketch and make another groove. with that sketch here and in order to see what angle I need I could drag those limits if I can select it like this over here and this one over there as well and so the angle would be 225 225 and this would be minus 135 it's easy to do like this because if you calculate it, it might go wrong. Confirm. Great. Now I need an extrusion, a pad on this plane here. I could go for a position sketch. So I have control over the rotation of the camera. So I want to reverse H and I want to reverse V. Looks good. Confirm. Now again I want to hide those elements. And I need a rectangle. Maybe like this. And again I don't want to use those parallels. Go for a constraint. This would be 8 and that distance would be 18. Now this one should be on that one coincident and I want to get symmetry between those two so go for Allow symmetry line and select this axis here. Leave that sketch and now make a pad, not a pad, a pocket in the other direction, so reverse direction and this could go up to the next or up to last. Let's go up to last and confirm. Nice. Now the chamfers, they are symmetric so I can go for 2 mm, 55 degrees and I can select all of them because the direction doesn't matter in this case because they are symmetric. Confirm. Now the last thing I want to do is that hole. There are many different ways to do such a hole. You can draw a circle on that plane, make a plane tangent to that surface, parallel to that plane, draw there a circle, or you could draw a rectangle on this one and make a groove, or you can go for a 3D point and then for the whole tool. 
so my 3d point these are the filters there you go and the coordinates of this point close that lock should be x is 0 y is 25 and z would be 12 reference point is the origin that's okay and confirm and now i can use my hole tool select the point select that tool and now you could select that face which makes that whole sketch the positioning sketch isoconstraint diameter would be eight and I would go up to next and confirm and I'm done so I just noticed this should be somewhere different so let's change that point it should be over here so x would be 25 and y would be 0 you see how easy it is to change the coordinates of that point and the hole adjusts and now I'm done so I hope you enjoyed it hope it was helpful if you did like it please give it a like or leave a comment if you want to see more please give it a like or leave a comment please subscribe to my youtube channel please subscribe to my facebook fan page would be very nice of you i want to get more likes and subscriptions over there as well thanks for watching see you to the next one bye bye